in training their teachers. One TV reporter, that's me floating around. We'll get back to the weightlessness in a minute, but let's begin in a classroom. They like freaked out, like they were swooning over this experiment. <laughs> Andrew Vandenhuvel teaches high school astronomy and physics at the Prairie School in Racine. His students designed an experiment dealing with microgravity. Andrew submitted the idea and was selected to try it out in one of the most unique environments on Earth, or above Earth. We met up with Andrew in Chicago as he and a couple dozen middle and high school math and science teachers from around the country excitedly prepared for their once-in-a-lifetime adventure. They're participating in a program called Weightless Flights of Discovery, sponsored by defense contractor Northrop Grumman, to reverse the alarming downward trend of students going into technical careers. The idea is to inspire teachers first, and they'll be fired up to inspire students. Well, that's the hope, that they're really motivated to continue their love of math and science and to continue to study those courses uh, in middle school, in high school, in college, and then hopefully some of them will come to work at companies like Northrop Grumman as our engineers, or maybe to become math and science teachers. When I was in eighth grade, actually, I was the first time in a science class that I ever learned about astronomy, and it blew my mind. The sizes involved, the scales involved, it just was amazing to me. Andrew has always dreamed of being an astronaut. He hopes it's more than a dream. He recently sent his official application in to NASA. His experiment today deals with something known as the Brazil nut effect. What this experiment is, is there's tiny little beads and maybe you can see there's also some large white beads in here. And just like the Brazil nuts float their way to the top of a can of mixed nuts when you shake it, if I shake this, the large white beads will make their way to the top. A scientist in Japan told Andrew he's excited to see the results because he's been studying the same effect on asteroids in space. And this experiment has never been done before in zero gravity, not even by astronauts. So we go through a pre-flight mission briefing and we're told what to expect. This isn't going to be just a simulator on the ground, it's an actual flight. And we all realize that no one can prepare you for the sensation of zero gravity. I'm going to feel it inside my body and all of these teachers are and that's something that's totally unique you really can't understand it until you feel it finally we board our plane a modified 727 with nothing in the cabin except padding all over the floor ceiling and walls we sit in the few rows of seats in the rear of the jet waiting for our wild ride the FAA has okayed specially trained pilots to do a series of maneuvers called parabolic flight when we reach our designated airspace we'll fly up at a steep angle until the plane is pushed over into a steep descent that creates temporary zero gravity it's sort of like what happens at the top of a roller coaster ride only this will last longer. Our coaches instruct us to lie down flat for the steep upward acceleration. And watch what happens when the plane reaches the top of its arc. Our bodies literally lift right off the floor and we become weightless. There is general giddiness and laughter as we all float around uncontrollably and bump into each other. But after about 20 seconds, the coaches warn us to get our feet back under us because the plane is reaching the bottom of an arc and we're temporarily going back to gravity. On the ball for zero, 13, zero, 13. We repeat this up and down zero G cycle 15 times. Andrew conducts his experiment, but not without getting accidentally bumped into the padded ceiling. They teach us to push off the floor and fly like Superman. I'm way over here on the left, and I quickly soar out of sight. We also discover that water squirted out of a bottle in zero gravity doesn't spill. It just forms globs that hang in the air. The whole flight lasts about two hours, and all the weightless action is captured on camera by the coaches. After all this, does Andrew still want to be an astronaut? I always thought that I would uh, have an iron solid stomach and was kind of surprised that I got a little bit queasy going up and down like that. So uh, it gives me a, a second thought just briefly about the whole being in space for long periods of time, but um, still going forward with the goal. We'll see what happens. I'll make NASA say no to me. I'm, I'm not going to say no to them. Back on the ground, teachers get a diploma and a DVD to show when they get back in class. Remember, this is all about the students. 
Now, the whole reason is to uh, uh, instill uh, energy into uh, young students to choose engineering and science curriculums. What they tell us on feedback is they're sort of like local rock stars when they get back there, having experienced something like this in flight. Mr. Vanden Heuvel is suddenly a rock star in class the next day as he describes his zero-gravity adventure. The biggest surprise for me, the most unexpected thing for me, was the fact that it was so comfortable, that it felt so good. For me, it really was a teacher in the classroom who just taught me the stuff about space that really just opened my eyes. And I think my goal as a teacher is really to just expose students to these ideas and these, these surprising things about our world that will really inspire them to go on and learn more about it. Students who helped design the experiment do seem ready to learn more. It's really cool because I really like math and science, and this is pretty much all math and science. It kind of made me think outside the box and kind of like made, gave me like an insight of what it felt like to be like an engineer. It's pretty neat to have, um, to, <laughs> to come home one day and say, you know, I was part of this experiment that no one else has done. Andrew Vanden Heuvel is one science teacher who's determined to pass along the wonders of weightlessness. There's so much talk about tests and scores and all that kind of stuff in schools, but ultimately it's about getting kids to really want to know more about the universe.